Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll understand about loops. Okay. So before understanding about loops, let me actually tell you why do we need something. Okay. So let me say that I want to print 10 numbers okay, from 1 to 10. Okay. So do you think it makes sense for me to write like this? See out. Let's say 1. See out 2. See out. Right. Let's just say 3. Does it make sense? And you keep on making you keep on writing. Okay, you keep on writing. Control C, I'll just give you some idea. Control V, Control V, Control V. Okay. You keep on writing this and does it make sense? Right? You'll come here, you'll make here four, you'll come here, you'll make it five, you'll come here. Let's write till ten. Okay, then I'll show you what we can do. Okay, uh, seven, eight, nine, and till 10 let's write till 10 okay so this should not be included and obviously even even if i don't do this it's fine so do you think we should write like this obviously it will give us the answer one two three four five six seven nine but in a line like we did not give us a space no lines so it will just give us a single line okay let's see how it will give us it should give us Give some species as well. Some species. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. See, it's giving me these numbers. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Makes sense. Even if you don't give species, it's just fine. Like if I don't give any species, it's just fine only. Okay. Even this will give us, but it will not have any spaces between them. See, it's everything is just byte up, so to say. Okay. So what's the difference? Like, uh, assume that okay, till now I had only eight numbers, so I just wrote C this uh, C out, C out, and I wrote ten numbers. But if I've been given thousand numbers, do you think I'll just write C out till thousand? Obviously, that's not a good way, right? So we have something called loops. Okay. So how we're we gonna use that? In this video, we'll understand about while loops. Okay. So there's something you are gonna write like this while. Okay. You'll write something inside of it. Like we have in uh, like if block else block right even like this we have an if block okay. whatever you write within, within this okay it will run until this condition is true whatever is true out here okay until this condition is true and whatever you have written out here it will keep on running let's just understand it using the code that will be much more better okay so obviously this approach is very bad this approach writing c out every now and then right if you have to print thousand numbers obviously you wouldn't do this right so this approach we are not going to use okay let's see how we're going to do <coughs> okay so let's say right now let's say n equal to um let's say 10 okay you want to print 10 numbers what you do is just come here while and okay while n is less than or equal to 10 that means you can somehow write here n equal to 1 okay and until unless n value is 10 you keep on doing something okay don't worry i'll explain you let me just write something and i'll explain it to you okay c out n and after doing this you can give a space and come here and just make n equal to n plus one what did we do out here let's understand let's understand this part okay let's understand this part just a second let me just do this okay so that it's visible to you guys properly, okay? So see, what do you want? Inside our while we have a condition, right? While n is less than or equal to 10. That means in the, right now n equal to 1. Why? We can see here, n equal to 1. And I have written n is less than or equal to 10. That means n is going to run. Right now, what is n? n is 1. Okay, that means it is less than 10. Yes, then you run whatever is inside. What is it inside? We wrote c out the value of n. So, what is right here? Let's start write the output here. Okay, c out the value of n. What is n? n is 1. Okay, so write, write 1 and space, give a space. And now n equal to n plus 1. That means now n equal to n plus 1. What was n? n was 1. So, 1 plus 1 it will be 2. And now this will get updated by 2. Okay, now what is the value of n? n is less than or equal to 10 that means 2 is less than 10 yes come and print the value of n again so right now n is 2 so 2 will be printed okay again come 
after this line number 18 on line number 19 again you're gonna increase the value of n that means now n will be 3 again come in the condition okay after this part it will go back here okay see after it returns it goes back on the condition okay like this it keeps on going like this until unless the condition is false okay so right now also condition is true my n value is less than 10 3 values 3 is less than 10 print 3 okay because see out whatever is n again increase the value of n now n equal to 4 4 is less than 10 it will come and check again 4 is less than 10 yes 4 is less than 10 print 4 after the again increase the value do this do it till your value has reached 10 okay assume it reaches 10 okay so right now 10 example 10 is less than equal to 10 yes that's the condition that's true come and print the value of n okay you have printed n you printed n you made n equal to n plus 1 that means you made n equal to 11 11 is less than 11 11 is less than 11 or not is it 11, uh, 11 is less than equal to 10 no then this condition will be false okay this will become false that means 0 and whatever is inside nothing will execute you will come out of this loop did this make sense we'll do it again okay first let's run it and then we'll do the run again okay so let's see see what i'm saying is right now n equals to 10 uh, n equal to 1 print n equal to whatever value of n is okay and increase the value of n by 1 every time as soon as you print you increase the value and come and check whether the value is still less than or uh, equal to 10 or not okay so until unless it's less than 10 or equal to 10 it will just go and print it what is the advantage of this code let's see i'll tell you what's the advantage is. just let me run it once okay it should come it going to print it only in like this few lines what's the advantage even if i want to write hundred of or thousand numbers just make the condition check here it means n is less than equal to hundred or thousand it will keep on running so just see were you about to write or you were about to write thousand of these c out lines it was not a good idea right so just do this part and everything will be handled by your compiler see one two one thousand everything has been printed how does this make sense it makes sense right see what's actually ha effectively ha happening is let's take it for a small value okay let's take it for five that will help make things clear see right now n equal to one okay your while condition says n is less than equal to five what is the value of uh, n it is one so come and print one okay one is printed again and it's increased by one so n became two after this you can see that this is a um, curly bracket it will go again here okay now it will check now value of n is 2 now it's 2 less than 5 yes 2 is less than 5 come again inside print it again increase the value of n so now again n value is increased so now n is 3 okay again after this again you reached this curly line line number 21 you again came to the line number 16 okay so again now it's 3 so print 3 again came to line number 9 uh, 19 now again incre uh, increase the value of uh, n equal to 4 right because n was 3 3 plus 1 is 4 now again after this from line number 21 again you will go to line number 17 and line number 17 says 4 is less than 5 or what yes then again come and print it okay until unless your condition is true it will do whatever has been written inside your while loop okay making sense now after 4 again to come and make it 5 even 5 will get printed after 5 once your n value is 6 okay once your n value this becomes 6 it will come and check is my 6 less than or equal to 5 no 6 is greater then obviously this is false this will return me 0 and if 0 that means nothing will execute whatever is in, inside my loop and i'll come out of the loop and i would have already printed these values did this make sense i did right okay let's do one more question okay let's do one more question similar question now i'm saying that I want to print the elements in the reverse order. Reverse order means, let's say user will give me value 10. Okay, user gave me a value 10. Okay, we can obviously take it from the user right, but right now to make you guys understand, I'm just taking from by myself only. Okay, so user gave a value 10. I'm saying, okay, until and unless n is greater or equal to 1. Okay, that means right now n is value, n value is 10. Is 10 greater than or equal to 1? Yes, 10 is greater than 1, obviously. After that, you print whatever value it is. 
and instead of giving a space let's give a line let's take in a different line okay and after every line just decrease the value of n so what i've done i have taken an is 10 is in the starting n value will be 10 so 10 is less than 1 yes print 10 after that n equal to n minus 1 that means n now is reduced to 1 so now n is 9 so again it came to this i see remember it will never cross line number 16 okay it will never go to line number 15 again after it has come from this line from line number 16 only it will start like it will go from line number 16 to 21 and again in order to check the condition it will come only to line number 16 understood okay so again 9 well it will be 9 9 will again get printed again n value will be subtracted again n value will be 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 once this value becomes 0 so 0 is greater than or equal to 1 no then you come out of the loop did this make sense okay let's just understand by just running it once we are going to get the answers in opposite okay decreasing order so to say so see. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 yeah making sense what we are supposed to do what uh, how we're doing you just go through it once again okay it's very important loops are very important everywhere you keep on using these loops okay just need to understand what actually is happening okay. so i'll just explain it once again so because you are starting it so i'll just explain it once again right now n equals to 10 okay my while says until unless n is greater than or equal to 1 until unless n is greater or equal to 1 you run it okay so you came and you are just printing 10 and then you're decreasing the value of 10 by 1 so now it will be 9 again print 9 again 8 again 7 7 6 5 4 every time the condition is checked right now 4 right so f again the value of this will be 6 5 4 now 3 is 3 greater than or equal to 1 yes 3 is greater than 1 and come and print 3 is now again decrease the value of n now 2 is 2 greater than or equal to 1 yes print 2 is it equal to 1 yes one is not greater than equal uh, not greater than one but equal to one so just print one as well next time you decrease the value of n it will become zero is zero greater than equal to one no condition becomes false then zero condition con false means zero right this is false don't do anything that is inside your loop come outside and that's the thing that's happening okay i hope it made sense right and you understood the how to print numbers in increasing order as well as in decreasing order okay so in the next videos we'll do some more questions okay because this is just the basics okay we will continue about loops okay in further videos also, okay so see you guys here thank you